So I made a problem up for you on the angular momentum principle. And I just made it up and I haven't solved it or anything. And I, I think it's okay. So let's see how it goes. So here's what we have. So I have a spaceship. And one of the ways we talked about this before to make, you know, artificial gravity, which is just apparent weight, is to rotate the thing. So I have my spaceship and it's not rotating. And I want it to rotate with these uh, rockets. And so the question is, what kind of force do these rockets need to exert so that I can have half of gravity inside? Just made it up, just like that. Okay, so I made some size of the spaceship that has a radius of uh, 10 meters. It's a, this is a cylinder, and so you stand on the inside uh, and it rotates around. It has a mass of 5,000 kilograms, which is probably a little too low, but I'm okay with that. And I want it to be... I want it to start from at rest to half of a G weight in two minutes. I just picked up. It's my spaceship. I want to take two minutes to get up to speed. Okay, so first thing we need to do is say, how fast does it need to spin in order to get half of G? So here I'll have, if this is rotating, I'll have it rotating that way, because no wait, I have it rotating this way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, there's my angular velocity. Uh, and I'll have the normal force pushing towards the center. So, F net equals M V squared over R. That's the normal uh, rule I use for angular, uh, for acceleration towards the center of the circle for moving in a circle, V squared over R. Um, and this is gonna be equal to the normal force, which is gonna be MG over two. So it's half of weight. So then I, I'm going to solve this for the velocity, and then we can solve for the angular velocity from that. So right, right away you can see the masses cancel, and I can solve for v squared. v squared equals uh, g r over 2. Um, there's only one force, just to be clear. There's only one force pushing up. And so v equals the square root of g r over 2. Uh, let's just check that. That's meters per second squared times meters divided by two, so you get meters squared per second squared. If you take the square root, you do get meters per second, so that, that's right. Now, if I want to find the angular velocity, omega is delta theta over delta t. Well, what if I want to, if I go all the way around, then how far did I go? I went two pi radians, uh, but how long did it take me? So this is equal to 2 pi divided by the time. Well, how far did it go? The distance around s is equal to uh, 2 pi r. And the time is going to be equal to, or well, the velocity is s over t. So t, delta t, is going to be equal to s over v. So that's my time. I can put that down here, and I get s, which is 2 pi r, times v. So in the end, I get angular velocity is V over R. So that would be equal to one, let's see, so if I bring the R in, that's gonna be the square root of G over two R. Right, because if I have a one over R, I bring it in, it's gonna be R squared, and I get that. Okay, so I'm gonna write that up here and, and erase this because it's important. So, but here, omega equals the square root of G over 2r. That's how fast I want it to go. Okay. So that's not really an angular momentum problem. That was something else. Okay, so now I can use the angular momentum principle. This says that the net torque is going to be the change in the angular momentum over the change in time. Uh, if I solve that for the change in the angular momentum, delta L equals torque net delta T. Or I could write this as L final minus L initial equals torque net delta T. Uh, I know the initial angular momentum is zero because it starts from rest. I know the final angular momentum is going to be I omega final torque net delta T. So I is the moment of inertia or the rotational mass of the system. Since it's a, it's a ring, so I ring 
is going to be m r squared. And omega final is this. So I know my moment of inertia. I know my angular velocity. I know the time is uh, 2 minutes, which is 120 seconds. What about the torque? The torque is going to be the uh, torque due to these two rockets. And that's the force I want to solve for is those two rockets. So I know that torque is F R sine theta. So in this case, there's my R, there's F, and the angle between them is 90 degrees. The sine of 90 is indeed 1. And then I have the same thing over here. This would cause a positive torque, and so would that. So I actually have two of them. So the t net torque is going to be 2F big R. And F is the force of the rocket, and that's what I want to solve for. So in fact, I don't know why I did this. I was trying to solve for that torque anyway. I need to divide by delta T. Okay, so let's put this all together. So I have net torque is 2F times R. The change in angular momentum is just going to be the final, which is going to be I omega F over delta T. And let's solve for F. F equals I omega F over 2R delta T. Now let's start putting in things that we know. F. So I is going to be M R squared. Omega final is this. Square root of G over 2R. And then on the bottom I have 2R delta T. This cancels with that one. And if I bring that inside, I get R squared, and that cancels. You, you don't have to do that, but I want to do that. So I get F equals M over 2T delta T, square root of G R over 2. I could have, I could have done the 2 also. Okay, so I know everything. I know M is 5,000 kilograms. I know R is 10. I know 2 is the number 2, and I know delta T is 120 seconds. Let me put this in my calculator real quick, which I didn't have prepared because I wasn't prepared. I'm still here. Okay, so we have the mass times uh, the square root. Let's see, the mass divided by... Two times delta T, so that's going to be 240 and times the square root of 9.8 times 10 divided by 2. Let's see if that does it. I think I might have missed a parentheses. I did. Okay, 145, that's actually pretty low, and I may have made a mistake, 145 Newton. So that'd be the thrust of both of those two. So it wouldn't be too hard to get this thing rotated. Up to speed, tap gravity, angular momentum principle. Hope that helps.